NBC. Eat pear and mama do. What a wacky pair. A rough little, tough little alley cat. A lovable lap dog, big as a bear. He clips a daring dude, a saw on Robin Hood. He's nice to the mice, but he comes undue. When dogs intrude on his neck of the woods. Mama Deuce, a playful pooch, a friendly, clumsy clown. But when that pooch gives you a smooch, you just might end up upside down. He clips and Mama Deuce, the goofiest team around. Now he clips and Mama Deuce, the hot dog cat and the pussy cat hound. We'll return after these messages. Appearing tonight on three stages at Showbiz Pizza Place, the Rock of Fire Explosion. Summer vacation is really well. And starring the greatest fresh baked pizza made to order. Over 60 new games and rides. We have it all at Showbiz Pizza Place. A donut cereal? Well, they look like donuts too. Taste like powdered donuts too. New donuts. A bowl of donuts. But they're little crisp and light. Cook crunch in every bite. New donuts. They're delicious. Part of this breakfast that's nutritious. It's donuts. Delicious. New donuts. A cereal that looks and tastes like donuts. New donuts. Delicious. Oh, no. Here comes Marmaduke, and I'm in no mood for his overzealous affection. I'll hide in here until he goes by. Marmaduke and a litter of kittens. Litter of kittens? No, Marmaduke, no kittens. Pets can't have pets. Let us keep the kittens, Pop. Please, Hop, please, Hop, please. Yeah, let us, Pop. Come on, be a good guy. No. K N O W, no. <laughs> all right, all right already. The kittens can stay. <laughs> oh, you're the greatest, Pop. Yeah, you're one of the good ones. But they're your responsibility, Marmaduke, and you're taking care of them. <laughs> Stop it, Marm. <laughs> Cut it out. Duke, you clumsy mutt! Look what you've done to my new walk! <laughs> the guy who first said dog is man's best friend never knew Marmaduke! <laughs> hey, Marmaduke! Get out of my pool! I don't allow dogs in my pool! <laughs> Look 
lucky for me, I'm in tip-top condition. <laughs> package for you, Mr. Snyder. Great. This is the antique mirror I ordered out of a catalog. <laughs> Marmaduke, you mush-headed <laughs> mongrel! Look what you did to my mirror! like a dog? I don't know. Why is a forest like a dog? Because it's full of bark. Bark? <laughs> we'll return after these messages. I've waited a long time for this, Luke Skywalker. Ready, Darth Vader. Introducing Bespin World, new from Star Wars Micro Collection line. 16 die-cast figures and action poses included. It's three play sets in one. I'll connect Gantry to Bespin Control Room. Watch what happens to Luke. Wow! Activate Bespin Freeze Chamber. Han looks frozen. Let's connect him. It's the whole world of Bespin. Bespin World from Star Wars Micro Collection line. Play sets also sold separately. Figures included. New from Kenner. You can roll a roll to your pal. Chocolate covered chewy caramel. You can roll a roll to your mate. It's chewy and it's chocolate. Really great. Hmm. Roll up. Chewy chunks of caramel, each covered in real milk chocolate. All rolled together. You can roll a roll with your friends. It's chocolate covered caramel from end to end. Gee, Grandma's looking at all her old photos. I remember my first day here. I was barely just a kitten. I also remember that's when I met Spike. When I was the new kid on the block. Oh boy, the neighborhood kids. Maybe they want to play. Watch me show that new kitten what's what. Uh, yeah, get him, Spike. I'll flatten him. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heathcliff. Hey, you want to play? Yeah, bowling. <laughs> Okay, you be the ball. Hey, Spike, what are we playing next? I'll think of something, you little twit. Gee, that kitten's tough. Tough? I'll show him tough. I'm sure lucky to find a new friend like Spike. No more playing around, cat. Not even yo-yoing? No, give me that. It's tied to my finger. Yeah, but we can both play. See? Yay! Yo-yoing's lots of fun, huh, Spike? Oh, sure. Oops, the string broke. Don't worry, Spike. I'll save you. So why can't we be pals? Because you're trying to act tougher than me. Who's acting? Oh, yeah? We'll have a contest to prove who's toughest. This tug-of-war contest will settle it. Whoever pulls who over, wins. <laughs> okay. You first. Sure. 
I'll pull first. Oh, was that your best? Yeah, well, let's see you do, do better, the tough guy. Like this. Huh? Hi, fellas. Hey, you're interrupting our contest. <laughs> fun, huh? Yeah, yeah, loads of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now for some real fun. Oh, what do we do now? Not we, you. You're going for a wagon ride. And I'm sending you on your way. Gee, wagon riding's fun. So long, chum. <laughs> Yay! This is fun. Uh, how'd I get myself or tangled up in this great fun? Watch it, Spike. Low bridge. Look, a tunnel. Oh, no. Ah, oh, the ride's over. Last. Hey, Spike, did you show that puny kitten who's toughest yet? You? Obviously, I'm toughest. Ha! I'm bigger and rougher, and I run this neighborhood. Come on, guys. Let's show them I'm the toughest. There's only one way to stop his wind, Bagan, and that's with more wind. Gee, fellas, playing King of the Heap is fun. <laughs> right, Spike? <laughs> yeah, sure. King uh, Heathcliff. And here's a picture of me playing that first day. <sighs> Things were much more carefree in those days of kittenhood. Fortunately, those days aren't gone forever. Hey, Spike! What, boy? Oh, no! <laughs> We'll return after these messages. Kellogg's Honey and Nut Corn Flakes has the flavor you can see, hear, and taste. Can you see it? I see nuts on the flakes. Can you hear it? it sounds crunchy. Can you taste it? Honey, nuts, and corn. It's Kellogg's Honey and Nut Corn Flakes. Can you see it? Nuts right on the flakes. Can you hear it? Can you taste it? Honey nuts and corn! It's the honey and nuts from Kellogg's. Kellogg's honey and nut corn flakes. See it. Hear it. Taste it. Alfie, look. The A's are missing from alphabet. Mmm, sounds like Nasty McEvil. He steals letters so kids can't spell their names. Let's go. No name with A will be spelled today. Yikes! Alfie, the alphabet serial wonder dog. Get him, Alfie! <laughs> Snack. Thanks, Alfie. Now all kids can spell their names. With alphabets as part of this nutritious breakfast, it's <laughs> doggone good. Hmm? What kind of clothing does a pet dog wear? I don't know. What kind of clothing does a pet dog wear? A Pepsi coat. <laughs> <laughs> Raining cats and dogs. Healing taxi. Oh. Don't worry, Andy Kay. Marmaduke can babysit while we go to the charity bazaar. But Sweetum's diamond collar is worth fifty thousand dollars. Oh, it'll be safe. Marmaduke's an alert watchdog. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, he's so sweet and lovable. Very well, Marmaduke, but you be gentle with my precious angel. Bye bye, sweetum. Great. Now I can snatch the much diamond collar with no problem. Chihuahuas can't resist the aroma of taco flavored steak. Whilst I get your diamond collar. 
Turn after these messages. That's a talented nose. But wish you could find me fruit flavors like you can, Toucan. Come, we'll follow my nose. Come in. It always knows. For flavors of fruit, just follow my snoot. That's a snoot. Toast natural orange and lemon cherry tastes. I can smell my fruit loops any place. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Ha <laughs> <laughs> now that's a seal of approval. <laughs> that new goalie looks a little green. Give me a smack. Oh, 
I meant Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. Smack, smack, sugar smacks. I dig them. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Fun to eat, those fun to eat. Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. You're still too green for Ace of Smack Show. Nope, too yellow. Kellogg's Sugar Smacks, part of this nutritious breakfast. You'll dig them. I'm really ready for an evening of doing nothing. Uh oh, I'm a duke. Wait, not today, please, please, no! I'm happy to see you too, Marmaduke. These greetings are more like an obstacle course. Marmaduke just loves to welcome Dad home. Okay, Marmaduke, there's such a thing as carrying things too far, you know. If you'd only behave like that towards burglars, I'd feel more secure. Mr. Winslow? That's right. I'm from the Lost Pet Society. Are you in possession of the animal in this photograph? All too well, I'm afraid. That's my dog, Marmaduke. Not exactly. He's actually the lost pet of Mrs. Van Upton, named Hobart. He can be positively identified by a birthmark located on his left forepaw. You see? It's an open and shut situation. Come, Hobart. We're taking you home. I don't believe this. If you have any questions, just call the office. Dad, they're taking Marmaduke. Relax, kids. These sort of things are almost always the result of some misunderstanding. Our dog is gone. And all we got is some misunderstanding. Lost Pet Society, can you put me in touch with a Mrs. Van Upton? I, 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 I spend most of my life on hold. <laughs> Well, it's about your lost dog. Oh, he's been mm -hmm. returned. In fact, I was about to fix him a bath. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, stop! This dust is like you, Hobart. Hell, boy, hell! Why is that lady chasing Marmaduke around the house? She thinks he's her dog. Quit acting silly, Hobart. Hello? What? You again? Oh, I found my dog. Goodbye. What we have here is a problem in communication. What is she doing to him now? Now you sit still, Hobart, and I'll get you some nutrition. <laughs> Here you are. 200 <laughs> units of vitamin C with rose hips and vitamin B complex. <laughs> oh dear, now what? Yes, hello? What? I told you my dog has been returned. Goodbye. Perhaps I'd better go on over and deal with this in person. She's polishing his nails. Uh, yeah. What's that spray for? We can't help, please, on the top of your breathing and social standing, Hobart. I wonder where her real dog is. Hey, who's this? Wow, he looks like Marmaduke. He's probably the real Hobart. Look, he even has a special birthmark. Wait. But will that lady know it? Oh, Hobart, it's wonderful having you home again, my precious baby. Listen, lady, I've got to talk to you about my dog. Your dog? Yeah, that dog there. Hey, Marmaduke, whose dog are you? <laughs> hey, he's not like this for everyone, you know. I rest my case. Here's your dog, lady. He's got the birthmark. Yeah, there's something odd about that, too. Let me have your paw, Marmaduke. Aha! Chewing gum. 
Oh, I knew it wasn't you all along. Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Come on, let's head home. Marmaduke doesn't have to be told twice. <laughs> <laughs> to save energy. my little trooper Red Slavine and Charlie get into today. So stay tuned. That's in order. Turn after these messages. This boy is losing uh, his uh, kick. Uh, Why is he losing his kick so soon? Mm? He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mm? Mm. Like the
delicious, good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Cheerios! Kenner's Fast Ones, each sold separately with one-of-a-kind Fast Ones plates from all 50 states and cut-out certificate of ownership. Made them from cars. Look at them go. That's why they call them Fast Ones. All right. Fast Ones Piston Pusher. Turbotram sold separately from Kenner. We now return with Laverne and Shirley. Boy, I thought we were going to join the army to see the world. Instead, all we've seen is the inside of foxholes. <sighs> That's true, Laverne. And this digging's a lot harder than it looks. I can't seem to make any headway at all. I think it's all on the wrist, Cheryl. Watch me. Well, no wonder I wasn't getting anywhere. Oh, Laverne. Anybody could see your problem. It's supposed to use your shovel, not your face. Laverne! Attention! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mmm, very nice box. How you got there, Laverne? Relax, Cheryl. It's only squealy. Sergeant Pinebuckle sent me out here to inspect the troops. Tisk, 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 tisk. What seems to be the matter? I seen bigger holes in Swiss cheese. <laughs> Sergeant Tinebuckle isn't gonna be too happy when I tell him about this. Hey, no pig is gonna squeal on my pal. Yeah! Perhaps you shouldn't have done that, Laverne. He's only a pig, Cheryl. A pig with sergeant stripes. Yeah! Aw, did the little piggy fall down into the deep fox hole? That's right. Little Piggy with his walkie-talkie fell into the deep box hole. Hello, Sergeant Timebuckle. Come in, please. Oh, no! Okay, you bold brick and recruits. For the next week, this is your assignment. This is our assignment, Sergeant Timebuckle? Uh, could you tell us uh, what it is? Top secret? It means none of your business. I know what top secret means. She knows what top secret means. So, uh, what is this thing anyway? Don't ask. Just got it. You got it. Got it. Guard it. Keep an eye on them, Squealy. I'll keep them on the toes. No grass will grow under their feet. No siree. No sir. Oh. Sergeant Turnbuckle would like to know you're prying under top secret tops. Look at this. It's a rocket. Don't pull that cover off that, Laverne. It'll get dusty. Hey! Hey, hey! Let me out of here! Hey! Hey! Let's look inside. Laverne, no! That's government property. And besides, the hatch is probably locked. Uh-oh. I'll just try the doorbell and see if anybody's home first. Whoops! Huge! Hello? Anybody there? Whoa! Look at all this neat stuff in here, Cheryl. Okay, that does it. Now the pig is mad. Gee, it's just like something out of Jules Verne. Okay, Laverne. Okay, Shirley. That did it. No more Mr. Nice Pig. Okay, that suits me. Yay! Well... That's the last we'll see of him. Hmm. I wonder if there's a radio in here I can use to call Sergeant Turnbuckle. There probably is, Laverne. Oh, well, let's get in there and stop him. Squilly the Turnbuckle. Squilly the Turnbuckle. Peg the Sergeant. Come in, please. Squealy, wait. Don't touch those switches. That's very dangerous, Squealy. What are you doing? I'm just putting them back like you found them. You really shouldn't play with these. I mean, one of them just might... Oh! Don't look now, Cheryl, but I think one of them just did. Wait, take it off! Gee, Sergeant Tankbuck really isn't gonna like this. We've got a radio for help, but if you call them, they'll know what we did. They're probably going to miss this rocket eventually, Laverne. Relax, relax, I can handle this rocket. 
You can, Squealy? <laughs> you realize our lives depend on whether or not this pig can fly a rocket ship? Doesn't look good, does it, Cheryl? Okay, here we go! Ow! Ow! A media shower. I don't care what it's called. Rocks are rocks. Just get us out of here. Well, why didn't you say so? Signal for a left turn. He did it. We're saved. Uh, better hold your joy for a minute there, Cheryl. We got one more rock to avoid. That's awfully big for a meteor, Laverne. That's uh, not a meteor, Shirley. That's the moon. Sit there, Squealy. Turn left, turn right, put on the brake, do something! Trust me, okay? Yeah! Oh! Stop! Stop! Let us at those controls! I can handle it! Hey! At least let me try! When Sergeant Pinebuckle hears about this, he's gonna be very displeased. Let me down! One of these switches has to do something, Cheryl. Oh, look, Laverne, we got the TV on again. And they're showing some old space movies. Laverne, that's no movie. We're under attack. Attack by who? By aliens. That's who? Outer space aliens. A UFO. Oh, turn the rocket. Turn the rocket. That was a good turn, Cheryl. You didn't hit a curb or anything. Okay. I'm taking over. This is war and I outrank you. You outrank us? You're a pig. Sticks and stones may break my bone. Not to mention blast from that flying saucer. I'll get us out of this spot! Faster! Faster! Pedal faster! This is a modern piece of machinery, Laverne. It doesn't run on pedals and rubber bands. Then what? It has gizmos and whatchamacallit! Very scientific. What's happening? You are not gonna like what I have to tell you. Okay, then don't tell us. Why are we going backwards? That's what I have to tell you. We're inside that UFO! Now, don't panic. A clear mind is a mind to reckon with. Let's just think what we can do. Help! Somebody help! We're trapped in an alien spaceship! Help! Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Would you mind if I popped in for a visit? Oh, sure. Listen to that voice. I've been listening for that voice all my life. I really have. He's mine, Cheryl. I heard him first. No, you don't, Laverne. That voice is mine. Yeah, he's mine. Stop it. He's mine. I saw... Yes? Yeah. Oh, yes. We'd love to have you over. About two-ish. Are you two out of your minds? We're trapped in a flying saucer and you're making dates. Now, Cheryl, let's be logical. We can't both date them. You're right, Laverne. That's very sensible. Let's flip a coin. I haven't got a coin. Well, let's flip something, but it has to have a head and a tail. Hey, no, you don't. Remember who you were talking about here. Heads, I get the date. Yay! Tails, you get them. It's Tails, I win! Yeah, congratulations. Just wait till this goes on your army records. Mm -mm -mm. There he is. Laverne, how do I look? You look fine. Just go out and have a good time. We'll be back early. Well, hello there. Uh, uh, oh, wait just a moment, won't you? What's the matter, Cheryl? Ah, Laverne, you know something? I've been thinking this over, and I think this date should be yours. Mine? Why? I cheated. You used a loaded pig? It's really great of you to admit that, Cheryl. No, Laverne. That is your date. Hey! How did he do that? He's a space creature, Squealy. He probably has a permit. Our detectors inform us there is an Earth human aboard this ship. Please point one out to me. Uh, you uh, don't know what a human looks like? No, I do not. Point one out. That's, That's a, a human. human. I may not know a human, but I know a pig when I see one. So you must be the humans. Hey, stand back, Buster. You're dealing with the army here. Oh, yo! 
You're going to hear from Sergeant Turnbuckle about that one. Please, please, I, I, I never cuddle on a first date. Uh, come on, come, let, let us go, huh? No, you are needed to help us. Help you? Help you what? Help us invade Earth, of course. Invade Earth? Earth? Yes! <laughs> We'll return after these messages. Bobless! It's juicing who grape flavors gotta get through. No trouble. Introducing the grapest hubba bubba ever. Grape flavor? <laughs> new grape flavor hubba bubba is soft and juicy, and you can blow amazing new stick bubbles. <laughs> that won't stick to your face. They're calling this a grape cream dropping. <laughs> Big bubbles, no trouble. <laughs> Alfie, look. The ears are missing from Alphabet. Mmm, sounds like Nasty McEvil. He steals letters so kids can't spell their names. Let's go. No name with A will be spelled today. Yikes! Alfie, the Alphabet serial wonder dog. Get him, Alfie! <laughs> Snake. Thanks, Alfie. Now all kids can spell their names. With Alphabets as part of this nutritious breakfast, it's <laughs> not gone good. Hmm? Johnny likes his pudding on the second down. Susie likes her pudding ten feet off the ground. Popsicle, snooker, pudding, pudding through and through. It's the one pudding in the world that's popsicle. Good pudding, good pudding, pudding, rich and thick. We kept that homemade taste and then we froze it on a stick. Jimmy likes pudding, pudding, strolling in the zoo. It's the one pudding in the world that's popsicle too. We now continue with Laverne and Shirley. Hey, where are we? I'm taking you to Invasion Central on the planet Venus. Oh, well, uh, at least we're still in the same neighborhood. You can't do this to us! We're U.S. citizens and we've got rights! Ah, Sarkhan, you have returned! With two humans, Finnick. Yeah, humans! Yeah! What's going on? Let us out of here! We will let you out after we invade your Earth! Yeah! Hey! Where are we now? You are in a prison chamber on the planet Venus. Laverne, there's a man in here. We are. Oh, relax, girl. It's only a garbage disposal. Look. Laverne, garbage disposals do not float in midair. I am Gamma 6. Pleased to meet you, Gamma 6. I'm Laverne. I've been told I'm about an eight, eight and a half, and this is Shirley Five. Five? Now, just a minute here. I am from Gelderswing, seventh planet from York. What are you in for? I was picked up for speeding. Speeding? I was thinking too fast. Hey, so I didn't know there was a speed limit for thinking. Don't worry, Laverne. You're in no danger. <laughs> Hmm, there's got to be a way out of here. Hmm, I wonder what these screws are for. Well, now I know. Okay, you out of space creatures, come out with your tentacles up. Penny, something is in the corridor. Your things, not for long, Sarkhan, not for long. And with them entirely out of the way, all is in readiness for the invasion of their planet. And let us return to the ship. Earth is in its final hours. <laughs> hmm. You think we'd at least get a chair or something? Hey! Laverne, that's our chair from our old apartment. You're right, Cheryl. How'd it get here? You fought it here. Come again? I am a think tank, capable of turning thoughts into reality. You mean all I have to do is think about my stereo and... Like that? And Boo Boo Kitty? Aw, oh, Boo Boo Kitty. Earl, you're embarrassing. Come on, let's do a little redecorating here. A few posters, a sofa, a rug. We'll need a lamp. No, two lamps. A refrigerator. Oh, that's good, Cheryl. A refrigerator is good. And a TV. Color. You 
gotta be in here somewhere, space beasties. Yay! What is that? Hey, hey! This is army property you're shooting at. Uh, do you speak English? Speak Latin. Ah, how about semaphores? Guess he didn't like the message. Well, so much for semaphores. When all else fails, maybe she'll panic. Oh! Uh, that's all I could think of for now. Me too, Laverne. We've got all the comforts of home right here on Venus. Oh, that's good. My circuits are overwhelmed. I have enough energy left for one more time. Only one more? Let's save it, Laverne. Let's save it and use it wisely for something like world peace or end to famine. That's good. Or maybe no more zits or a, or a couple of guys, Cheryl. Gee, I wish Squealy could see us now. Okay, but this is your last request. No! It looks like this is it. Just make it quick. I can take it. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I wasted our last wish, Cheryl. Cheryl? I'm still here, oh joy, oh rapture. You saved me. You love me. And I don't even like you. Easy, easy. I got tender kneecap. Oh, you got quite a layout here. How'd you get all of this? Oh, we just thought it up with Gamma 6. I am, I was a fool. So why don't you think us out of this prison so we can save the Earth? <laughs> That's why. His circuits are drained. He's full. I can take care of that. Okay, you finally junk. Attention, suck in those wires. Straighten up those circuits. Let's show some life recruits. Yes, sir. That's more like it. Now, what are we going to do? Get us out of this prison. I can't hear you. Get us out of this prison, sir. That's better. So hop to it. Whatever you say, sir. You did it. It got us out, Squealy. I could kiss you. Laverne, he's a pig. Thanks, Cheryl. I almost lost my head. Could you do me one favor? After all you've done for us, of course we could. Could you take me home? To Gelderswain, seventh planet from north. You got it. Thanks. How'd you remember that? Well, he obviously was not from Detroit, Laverne. Now, come on. Let's save Earth. <gasps> this looks like Mr. Control. With no space alien? Maybe they gave up and went home. Laverne, Squealy, look. They're leaving to invade Earth without us. Hey, come back here with our rocket. Laverne, no, you can't go out. That's Venus out there. The air is unbreathable. So, hold our breath. It's a shortcut. Here, we can use these jetpacks and space helmets. Good thinking. Hurry up, they're gonna leave. Wait, how do you steer this thing? It's like riding a bike, Cheryl. Then where are the training wheels? Yay! Watch out for the bird. What bird, LeBron? <laughs> oh, this bird. I'll open this. Clearly, Charlie needs help. <sighs> Can't I leave you two alone for a second? Help us on the way, Cheryl. Okay, Bob. Get your claws off that army property. Hey! Yeah, yeah. It's okay, Cheryl, I got you. You're a true friend, Laverne. I know. Now, I don't want to see you in this airspace for another 24 hours. You got that? Dismiss. You just got to know how to handle these birds, that's all. Let's move it! We are moving in on Earth, Zarkon, and soon it will be ours. Fennec, somehow the humans are back on board, and their pigs along with them. Recapture them at once. They must not interfere with our invasion. I wonder what's in these boxes. Maybe they're planning a garage sale. Hey, Squirly, give us a hand here. Poor tail. <laughs> Kills me. Ah, oh, gee. Girl, look at all this neat stuff. Put that down. You don't know where it's been. All right, humans. We know you're here somewhere. Oh, my goodness. It's that Zarkon creep. 
Hey, take this stuff. I think I got a plan. Girl, are we gonna listen to a pig? Do we have a choice? Come out, humans! Well, hello there, big creature boy. Where have you been hiding? I could ask you the same thing, beautiful lady. He's buying it. If he buys that, he'll buy anything. The name is Grisnik 12 from Ubulon. Ubulon? Never heard of it. It's a new development. Why don't you come up to my place and we'll split a zoich? Now you're talking. Okay. Now! I've been tricked. One down, one to go. Let's go. Ah, Sarkhan, you've returned. Yes, with two captives. The earth is near, and in a few hours it will be ours. Sarkhan, why are you whispering? Orchering them, sir. I found whispering drives the earthlings right up the wall. So that's the plan. Got it? Got it. Sarkhan, you look pale. Invading planets takes a lot out of me. Uh, I've forgotten. Which lever is it that messes up all our plans for conquering Earth? What was that you asked? Oh, nothing. So trick me, will they? Perhaps instead of invading, we could just visit. You know, drop in for a hamburger, take some pictures of Mount Rushmore, roller skate a little disco. One, two, three, toss! What now? The iambic regulator is indeed a replacement. What is that net doing over you, Zarkhan? This! Oh, it's our beachwear, sir, in case we get to Malibu. Well, take it off! And levitate up to repair the regulator. Levitate? Levitate. levitate. They must have gone to the control room. Uh, his levitator is broken, sir, but we'll be glad to give him a boost. Sure. Anything to help. Uh, just a little higher, Laverne. Benny Carcon. Laverne. Charlie. Laverne. Help! She's an imposter, Benny. She is changing our course program! Oh! We are out of control! Come on, guys! Head for our rocket! Do something, Zarkon! I'll lighten our load. Hooray! We're out! We'll be back, Earthling! We'll be back! Whoa! We're falling! Start the engine! Start the engine! Reverse rockets! Fault, you know. And I think Sergeant Turnbuckle would really like to hear about this whole mess. Uh-oh, we're falling here, girl. Yes, sir, I think Sergeant Turnbuckle will be... <laughs> well, if you didn't want me to tell, you could have asked nice, you know. We did save the Earth, you know. We wouldn't want you to hog all the credit. I got the... Oh, I get it. <laughs> I hate that pig. We'll return after these messages. Soft drink mix. Kool-Aid is for a kid's big thirst. Bet you know what this is. It's the Darth Vader collector's case from the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Inside, it's got room for your favorite Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back action figures. They fit? Yeah. There's Dengar, Adat Driver, Rebel Commander, Leia, and 21B. You can hold up to 31 action figures, each sold separately, and you can take them with you. Vader collector's case. Action figures each sold separately from Kenner. We now continue with Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Thank you. 
their common sense. They're the dough nuts. Gordon Graham Gantz specialized in true romance and he tried at every chance to make it clear. He was suave, debonair. He used oil on his hair. As for girls, well, they thought Gordon Gantz was weird. Gordon thought he'd be just like those actors on TV if he used all the products that they sold. With manly muscles, skin so tan, happy hair, and cologne for man, he dreamed the girls would lose their self-control. Well, it hasn't worked so far, though he buys things by the carload. Tubes and bottles, jars and boxes, there he goes. Because he's sure someday he'll pick just the thing to do the trick, and overnight he'll change to instant Romeo. There's a moral to be heeded. Do you really, really need it? Will all your dreams come true if you just try it? Sometimes, changing from within is the best place to begin. Think of Gordon Graham Gantz before you buy it. As your body grows big,
Richie Rich is his name. He's written up in the Rich Hall of Fame. His bank account is as rich as his name. That's Rich, Richie Rich. The Richie Rich Scooby Doo Show. It's Scrappy too. We'll return after these messages. Frosted Flakes. Take out a banana, sugar frosted flakes. Mm. And you should taste the water just for today. Mm. Whoa, Kellogg's put real banana bits on my sugar frosted flakes. They're good. Yeah, Tony, they are great. I knew they'd have appeal. It's Kellogg's banana. New banana. Frosted mm. flakes. Part of this nutritious breakfast. This is ABC. Section selection inspection. The biggest selection. Mr. Singing. More games than anyone. More dolls than anyone. More bikes than anyone. I detect perfection in this stone selection. The biggest selection. these messages. Super cereal deserves a super bear. I'm lining up for breakfast with my delicious cereal, Count Chocula. You show off. Kids love my delicious cereal, Frankenberry. It's lots of strawberry flavor and tasty marshmallows. Wow. Shh. Good shot, Count. And a great cereal. Chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Terrific. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. <laughs> You can enjoy a good, nutritious breakfast with Frank and Betty. Coke Chocula. We now continue with the Richie Rich Scooby and Scrappy Doo Show. Gosh, Dollar, our family reunion gets bigger every year. And everyone's a millionaire. Are you okay, Dollar? Ooh, nasty doggy spoiled Mama's little darling's thousand dollar permanent way. Oh boy. Just once, I'd like to meet a rich relative who isn't rich. I've got it. Our computerized family album. Maybe I can find another side to the rich family. There. I've programmed the computer to find me my most down-to-earth relatives. Look, we found them. Alfalfi Rich and his wife Thistle, fourth cousins from Pigswell Hollow, Tennessee. We're going to visit them, Dollar. Pigswell Hollow, here we come. Let's go, Dollar. I can't wait to meet my poor relatives. And that's our final offer, Pappy Rich. A thousand bucks for your whole farm. Uh-uh. No sale, Mr. Dude. We is going to stay right here and lead the simple life. That's what he thinks, dude. <laughs> 
When we get through with them, life won't be so simple. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richie Rich, your fourth cousin, and this is Dollar. Welcome, Cousin Richie. We had got your telegram that y'all was a coming. And we had arranged a tour of our farm, especially for you all. <laughs> what them hayseed hillbillies don't know, Slicker, is there's oil on their property. Yeah, and we're gonna scare them off so we can buy it cheap. Gosh, Pappy, I've never ridden in a horse-drawn limousine before. We rich fillies live pretty good, Cousin Richie. That there is our scarecrow, our cows, bossy rich and fussy rich, our swimming hole, and our pig, no sense. Yuck! Come on, we'll show you the inside of our cabin. I say, Master Richie, welcome to Pigswill Manor. Wow! A real English butler! And all the comforts of home! Wings even have running water. <laughs> Gosh, Dollar, Mammy and Pappy live like kings. <laughs> But this isn't hurricane country. <laughs> Our man-made hurricane ought to scare those hillbillies into selling us their land cheap. <laughs> Uh-oh! Where's Dollar? <laughs> now to turn pig swill hollow into locust country. Look! Locusts! And this isn't locust country either! Oil! Dollar fell into a puddle of oil! There's oil on your farm! And I'll bet those two city slickers are trying to scare you off so they can buy it cheap! We've got to find those creeps! Have you got a bloodhound, Pappy? You betcha. Wheaton's got the best bloodhound in Pigswill County. A hurricane and locust plague are to force them rich bellies to sell cheap. Good work, no sense. Now to capture those crooks. <laughs> It's the rich bellies! They're wise to us! <laughs> that richy rich kid will never catch us! Here comes a rich made hurricane! Hey, we, we give up! up. We, we give, give up! up. We've got to get started cutting logs to build us a new cabin. No need for that, Pappy. Look! Dad's construction company built you a new cabin. Isn't this terrific, Dollar? They're holding the Rich Family Reunion in Pigswill Hollow. We'll return after these messages. Hang around and get into trouble at home as well as 
for some nice hurty cavities. Never fear, AIM is here. Ooh, I hate AIM. AIM fights cavities and it tastes good. AIM does taste good. Now maybe you'll brush. Brushing is as important as fluoride in fighting cavities. I will brush with AIM. Bye. Good girl. Take AIM against cavities. We now continue with the Richie Rich Scooby and Scrappy Doo Show. We'll return after these messages. Alert the troops! They're protecting Toothopolis with some new gel! They must be out of crest! Attack! We make holes in teeth! Cavity creeps! New crest down! New crest down! A new gel as tough as crest! It's great tasting crest gel with Florestack! You crazy! Repelled by crest gel! You'll love the flavor! Why you fight cavity? With, with new, new crest, crest gel! Tastes great! Crest! Crest! Dash for the dawn, made for school Maybe so, but he don't know who Make a quick fast, it's a breakfast Only fast, fast, yeah, quick fast A piece of toast and one of these Some peanut butter or a slice of cheese Milk and juice to wash it down It's a fast, fast, quick fast It's breakfast in town Quick fast No time for breakfast? Have a quick fast Another nutritional message from the ABC Television Network you're cutting your doll's hair? Sure, she's pretty cut and grow. Pretty cut and grow. Pretty cut and grow comes with scissors so you can give her hair a trim and make it long again. Wow. Pretty cut and grow. You can cut her hair. I cut her bangs. You can style her hair. I gave her braids. And make it long again. Pretty cut and grow. Oh, you're so pretty. Pretty cut and grow comes with barrettes, comb, ribbons, scissors, and replacement hair by Gabriel. We now continue with the Richie Rich Scooby and Scrappy Doo Show. Oh, Marshall, you saved our little town again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and now a word from our sponsor. Howdy, partners. Time for Poochie Yum Yums, the most mm -hmm. delicious doggy food in the world. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 reminding me, Dollar. Today I'm supposed to visit Dad's new Poochie Yum Yums factory. <gasps> Sorry, Dollar. No dogs allowed in the factory. See you later, old boy. Oh, ho! <laughs> Welcome to the Poochie Yum Yums factory, Richie. Scram! No dogs allowed. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 commercial take three the rich golden nuggets in poochie yum yums are absolutely irresistible <laughs> and to prove it we 
give our yum yums the indisputable taste test. <laughs> Hey, Dollar, look what I brought you from Dad's factory. A year's supply of Poochie Yum Yums. Specially marked packs of blueberry flavor Waffalo cereal. Three different patches. Waffalo Bill, Horse, or both together. One patch per package. New York Place, Florida. Indiana. Fast one! Fast ones blaze and banners. Other fast ones racers sold separate. Sleek racing cars with one-of-a-kind Fast Ones license plates. All 50 states and every plate is different. Plus, every Fast Ones racer has a cutout certificate of ownership. You can race them, you can collect them. You're the Fast Ones. Fast Ones Blaze and Bandit. Other Fast Ones racers sold separately from Kenner. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. Come true. 
The king has returned after thousands of years. Your Highness, I am Zeno, at your command. Where is she? I shall guide you to her, great king, to your wife. My wife? The goddess of the Black Pearl! When you said skiing, I pictured the Alps, not your living room. Else you want, else you get. Courtesy of my climate control. Son of a gun. Indoor skiing. Winter Wonderland. Race you to the bottom, hot dog. Hot dog. The goddess, your highness. It is she. the goddess of the black pearls. You are my wife. Wife? Jack, help! Hey, hands off. <laughs> Look out, King. <laughs> Those two friends of yours? You've got to be kidding. Bring me my wife. We've got two choices, the back stairs or the back stairs. In that case, let's take the back stairs. Let's end this little chase. Hop on. Quick, Nugget's dog whistle. Huh? What for? Just cover Nugget's ears and you'll see. Turn for the goddess in due time. Well, they made a quick uh, exit. Uh, that tall, slimy one looked familiar. Let's see if Sam has something on him at the journal office. door not good enough for you? Good enough, not fast enough. We need some information on a slimy king and a goddess of the black pearls. This king broke into my mansion and kept calling me a goddess. Get this heap in gear, Travis, and head for the museum. A cultural lesson now, Sam? No, news off the wire. Some ancient king rose from the sea looking for his wife and her priceless black pearls. Black pearls, as in goddess of? But how do I tie in? You'll see at the museum. 
Goldie, Jack, meet the museum director, Clarence Tyler. You're interested in the Island of Palace exhibit? I want Goldie to see the tapestry. There it is. Look to your heart's content. Goldie, you've never looked better. The goddess. She looks just like me. Uh-huh. Now picture a little seaweed draped over the king, and you've got our afternoon caller. The king thinks I'm his wife? You are my wife. Help, help, help. King Palace. Help, help. A basket case if I've ever seen one. Bring her to me. Goldie! <laughs> oh. You've got to break this habit, pal. To the Caledon! Ow! Sam, that's my leg! One more complaint and it's your job. You heard them. They're taking her to Caledon. It must be on the island. Not so fast, Travis. There's a cauldron right here in Manhattan. Don Bookstore. Sam, you're a genius. Save the congratulations till we know she's here. Soon we return to our island. Claim your sacred black pearls. You're not taking me anywhere, slime puss. My friends will see to that. They are probably upstairs right now. The alarm. Someone's upstairs in the bookstore. They are? Fools. They are fools, Zeno. Come. No, Goldie. My hunch was wrong. Unless there's a secret room somewhere. <laughs> so, you've come to see the goddess. Give them a last look. What are you going to do with them? They will not matter to you when the herbs restore your true identity. <laughs> Goddess, rise to greet your husband. They've got her in a trance. Goldie! Goldie! I am the Goddess of the Black Pearl. You intruders must be eliminated. The lever, my wife. Away, beast! The arms! They're closing in! We'll be crushed! Now to our island! A good reporter would be prepared for this, Travis. No, Sam. For earthquake, flood, and famine, maybe. But not this. We'll return after these messages. Clutch poppers to put you into the action, the racing action. You can rev them up. On your mark. Get set. Go! And pop that button. That's big rig racing. That's turbo sound. There are three big rig clutch poppers, each sold separately. New from Tonka. Parker Brothers is proud to bring you the Mad Magazine game. The game that may ask you to sit on your hands and cluck like a chicken. The game that may ask you to act like a chimpanzee. The crazy, mixed-up Mad Magazine game. It's fun. It's mad. To win... I lost everything! You have to lose all your money. I win! Also sold separately, the Mad Magazine card game. The Mad Magazine game from Parker Brothers. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. I can see the headlines now. Famous city editor pulverized with unknown reporter. Unknown? Nugget. Here, boy. 
The lever, Nugget. You've got to trip the lever. Real smart dog. Any more bright ideas, Action Jack? Maybe if I could hit the lever with my shoe. No, boy, no! Nugget, let go! I don't believe it. A perfect shot in zilch. Shoe wasn't heavy enough. Try the, the dog again. Nugget, the shoe. Get the shoe. Nothing broken here. You okay? Yeah, but I'll feel better once we rescue Goldie from the island of Palace. We'll get our scientists cracking on an antidote to break her trance. And this time, we really will be prepared for anything. This way, goddess, to the sacred chamber of the Black Pearls. Gods, stand aside. Our king and his wife return to claim their treasure. Is it she? Oh, goddess of the Black Pearls, we have guarded your treasure as our fathers did before us. At last, our vigil is ended. You have served me well. Arrive now and open the chamber. <laughs> Take them, goddess. If we can believe the gossip, the goddess is back, and she's inside the temple. This may be our chance. The crowd's moving in. <gasps> the goddess! People, away! Everyone, out of the temple! So far, so good. But if I'd brought Nugget, he'd be jumping all over Goldie by now. I wouldn't doubt it, the way he listens to you. Okay, okay, time's running out. for you. Huh, Sam? She's got a point. Let's get going. Goldie's gadgets. Can't forget these. Good. They left the pearls behind. Yes, but they know too much. We must eliminate them. You're the goddess of this place. How do we get out? That door looks good. Whoa! I guess I should have picked door number two. I guess you should have. It's a long way down. So nice of you to make this easy for us. Now that I have the pearls, I no longer need you. I have what I want, the pearls. So long, we have a game to catch. It's cracking! Where do we go from here, Travis? Besides down. How about up? This is as good a time as any to try my experimental balloon buckle. Experimental? Uh, hold on tight, Sam. I've been through a few of our experiments before. <laughs> Sam, grab on! Is it over yet? Not until our feet touch good old Earth again. So now we know 
King's palace was a fraud. He was after the girls the whole time. But he's not getting away with them. Not as long as this balloon can float us to the airport. It's easier than I thought, Your Highness. <laughs> I've waited years for these beauties. Let's move it. I don't believe it. They live. They'll never catch us. Say goodbye to the pearls. The game isn't over till both sides are out. And with those biplanes, we're still up. Oh. oh, solid ground. No time to enjoy it, Sam. The nearest biplane is now boarding. Here we go again. So let's find out who you really are. Tyler, the museum director. Why? When I saw Miss Gold's picture in the Gold Street Journal, her resemblance to the goddess was too good to pass up. Well, her pretty face is costing you and your friend 20 years in the slammer. Here, these belong to your people. We'd rather you had been our true goddess, Goldie. Don't encourage her. She already thinks she's a princess. Coming from you, Prince Charlie. I'll take that as a compliment. We'll return after these messages. It's the new Play-Doh Sizzlin' Skillet. Play-Doh food makes it sizzle. Nine-volt battery not included. You can make it sizzle. It's fun to do. A burger will sizzle in the skillet for you. It sizzles like it's flying! Now serve french fries and a steak with a knife you can turn the food you make. You can sizzle with Play-Doh. The Play-Doh Sizzlin' Skillet comes complete with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Continue with Thundar the Barbarian. We'll return after these messages. Let's start. When you slap your hands with your friends, playing give me five the fun shooting hands. Shoot your marbles in for a score, shoot. 
the black one in and score five more. You can watch them mount, and then you count. The most marbles in is the one that wins. Give me five. New from Shopper. Some assembly required. Barbie Dream Pool and Patio Fun. It's the Barbie Dream Pool with patio furniture. Sun Love and Malibu Barbie dolls sold separately. Oh, the water's cold. Barbie's gonna shower before she starts dinner. There's patio furniture to play with. Dinner's not ready yet. Well then, look out below. Hey, girls, is there room in Barbie's dream pool for me? Oh, Daddy. <laughs> the new Barbie dream pool with patio furniture comes with all you see here. Your parents have to put it together from Mattel. I'm Woodsy Owl with a bird's eye view of America's beautiful schools, playgrounds, and parks. But look what happens when grown-ups and kids don't give a hoot about pollution. But what thing? What can we do about litter? And vandalism! Just spread the word. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. And if you see litter, please pick it up. Because if you don't give a hoot, who will? In the city or in the woods, please keep America looking good. Hoot, hoot. We now continue with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. Raspberry tart with a tasty sundae. Raspberries! Six of strawberry shortcake, even purple pie man. Sold separately too, this berry patch carry case for displaying and taking the miniatures with you. New Strawberry Land miniature strawberry shortcake with custard. Other miniatures each sold separately. They're from Kenner. Yep. Ready, son? Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. One, two. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs in. Lolly, 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 got some adverbs here. Come on down to Lolly's, get the adverbs here. You're going to need if you write or read or even think about it. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Got a lot of lolly, jolly adverbs here. Anything you need and we can make it absolutely clear. Word. That's all it is, and there's a lot of them. That, that modifies, modifies a verb. Sometimes a verb, sometimes. It modifies an adjective, or else another adverb. And so you see, that is positively very, very necessary. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Father, son, and lolly selling adverbs here. Get your adverbs here. Got a lot of adverbs, and we make it clear. So come to lolly. Hello, folks. This is Lolly Sr. saying we have every adverb in the book, so come on down and look. Hello, folks. Lolly Jr. here. Suppose your house needs painting. How are you going to paint it? That's where the adverb comes in. We can also give you a special intensifier so you can paint it very neatly or rather sloppily. Oh, hi. Suppose you're going nut gathering. Your buddy wants to know where and when. Use an adverb and tell him. Get your adverb. Use it with an adjective. It says much more. Anything described can be described some more. Anything you'd ever need is in the store. And so you choose very carefully every word you use. Use it with a verb. It tells us how you did. Where it happened, where you're going, where you've been. Use it with another adverb. That's the end. And even more. Reason. These questions are answered when you use an adverb. Come and get it, lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Quickly, 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 get those adverbs here. Slowly, surely, really learn your adverbs here. You're going to need them if you read them, if you write or talk or think about it, lolly. If it's an adverb, we have it at lollies. Bring along your old adverbs. 
object that's tow like slow, soft, and sure. We'll fit them out with our L-Y attachment and make perfectly good adverbs out of them. Get your adverbs here. That's the good tricks and lollies, so come on down. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Adverbs deal with manner, place, time. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Condition, reason. Father, son, and lolly. Comparison, contrast. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Enrich your language with adverbs. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Besides, they're absolutely free. Lolly, lolly, lolly. At your service. Indubitably. I'm Michael Young. Ever watch a magician perform? Some can do incredible things with a deck of cards or even a few coins. Others are great illusionists who make people and animals seemingly appear from nowhere. Today's ABC Weekend Special, Zack and the Magic Factory by Elaine L. Schulte, is about a boy who goes to visit his aunt who owns a magic factory. As soon as the boy arrives, a lot of weird and mysterious things begin to happen. So join me as we watch, very carefully, part one of Zack and the Magic Factory. Taxi! Where to, kid? Dabbles! Dabbles Magic Factory. Magic Factory? 205 River Street, please. That area of town's all boarded up. What do you mean, boarded up? Like nobody lives there. Haven't you been there before? No, this is my first time. I hope you got money for the fare. Yeah, I got enough. You know, it's pretty late to be out on a Saturday night for a kid. You're not some kind of runaway, are you? Of course not. I'm just staying with my Aunt Daisy. Oh, sure. Your Aunt Daisy lives in a magic factory? Yeah, really. She's Daisy Dabble, like in the name Dabble Magic Factory. Well, I'm just visiting while my parents are off in Europe. How far is it to River Street? Oh, about six miles. Hmm. Dollar to start off with. That's 20 cents a quarter mile. My fare should be $5.80. cents. What are you, some kind of math whiz? No, I just like numbers. This place looks like a graveyard. That would be 680, kid. I was off by a mile. Here's Tim. I figured the tip at 15%. Just give me back 241. You go to Yale or Harvard. You know, for a genius, you got plenty of guts getting out here. Should I stick around for a minute? No, thank you.
Christ. Welcome, Zachary Dabble, to the Magic Factory. <laughs> Turn after these messages. Here comes George with Graham Crackles. Ten, nine. Hey, where you headed? To the moon, George. Oh, too bad. I was thinking you'd like a little taste of Graham Crackers and milk. For breakfast? Wow! Kellogg's Graham Crackles. It's a special Graham taste made light and crunchy. Ah, they are crunchy. Made from milk? You think there are any of these on the moon, George? No, but... Maybe in the Milky Way. <laughs> Kellogg's Graham Crackles. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Sunday on those amazing animals, survival of the fittest, from nature's fastest to her most deceptive. A modern-day Tarzan, friend of the ferocious big cats. Then, Meat Buster, a real-life wonder dog. Candy. Sign language for animals. And meet Martine Collette, who's made a special sanctuary for some truly amazing animals. Watch tomorrow at 7, 6 Central to Mountain on ABC. Now, back to our story. <laughs> uh, Aunt Daisy? Of course! Hey, Zachary, didn't your father warn you about me? Well, yeah. I mean, no. I mean, he didn't warn me about that. Oh, that? <laughs> I pulled the same trick on your father the first time he came to see me. <laughs> uh, come on in and welcome. <laughs> oh, Zach, I'm just so glad you're here, son. And I hope you're not too tired after your long journey because I have some wonderful friends that have come just especially to meet you. Hello! Yoo-hoo! Everybody! He's here! Zachary, as you can see, no one in here appears to me. And yet, in just a very few moments, you'll meet one of my best friends. Welcome, Zachary. I am Mario. Mario the Great. Mario the World Famous. How? Ah, not bad for opener, Zach, yet? Yeah. Ask me how I did it. How'd you do it? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, kid. Come on over here. I want you to meet my daughter. This is Jenny. And this is Jenny. Hi, Zach. I'm glad to meet you. Oh, hi. And this is Jenny. Hi. You want to shake her hand? Don't shake her feet. She's very ticklish. <laughs> you know, you two kids ought to get together. Great idea, but first, let's get her together. Oh, yeah. I gotta see the boots. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Zachary, meet Jenny. That's amazing. But how does it work? Ah, oh, it's no big deal, Zach. Jenny? It's all done with... Remember, magicians never tell their tricks. It's part of the code. Stick around here long enough, kid, and you'll do tricks just like that. Who, me? Sure. I don't think so. Listen, for this very special occasion, I want you to know I have baked for you my mystical marble cake. So if you'll all just follow me to the table, we'll all be seated. Table? What table? Oh, Mario, would you do the honors, please? My pleasure, Aunt Daisy. <laughs> Oh, it's terrific, Daddy. I haven't seen this trick before. Isn't that neat? Aunt Daisy taught it to me. I've been working on it for the last couple of months. But who ordered the chicken? I did. I'm hungry. Mario, get that chicken away from my cake. What's the matter? Don't you like chicken chocolate cake? Mario. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, my dear. No egg, no free lunch. Bye. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You sneak that chicken into every single one of your tricks. And after all, I've taught you. Here. Oh, and don't forget to drink your milk. Oh, how absent-minded of me. Uh, you're kidding me. Unreal. We've done hundreds of experiments in science class, and we've never been able to transfer a liquid through a solid. Boy, I sure would like to learn a trick like this. Well, why not? It's high time there was another magician in the Dapple family. 
Bakery. You know, I bet you're not even aware that you are named after the great Zachary Zambini. Oh, I can picture it all now. Why the great Zachary Dabble appearing on the stage in front of millions and millions of people. Up on a stage? Of course. In front of people? Of course. I can't. Oh, Zachary, no, no, there are two words we never say in a magic factory. I can't. What, what's going on? You go off at the strangest times. But they're all set at different times. <laughs> all right, children, knock it off. Oh, Zachary, how thoughtless of me. It's been an exhausting day for you. Why don't you go to bed, okay? Would you show him to his room, please? Sure, come on, Zach. Your room's upstairs. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night. night. We're sure glad you're here. Oh, Aunt Daisy, can I help you with the dishes before we go home? Oh, thank you, darling. Don't you worry. I'll take care of the dishes. Just about. Your room's upstairs. I stay here whenever my dad's on the road. What's that? I don't know. It sounds like it's coming from your room. I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, it seemed to have stopped. Escape is loose. That's it. The wind made it scrape against the building. Yeah, it must have been the wind. off the ground. No, hon, it had to be either your imagination or a dream. More like a nightmare. <sighs> My favorite Sunday breakfast. Yes. Eggs? Pancakes? Waffles? <laughs> Those things are so mundane. I like to put a little imagination in my cooking. Voila! Chopped chicken livers le Oh, that must be Mario. He's coming to look at my head chopper. Enjoy your breakfast. Chopped liver, chopped heads. Ugh. Boy, Aunt Daisy, you sure have some imagination. The woman is a genius. Zachary, could I borrow you for just a moment? What do you want me to do? Oh, I'd just like you to put your head in here, dear, so I can show Mario how safe it is. Oh, well, maybe I can do it for you a little bit later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to this place, Zach. Well, what do you think? Daisy, I'll take it. Oh. What do I owe you? Oh. Oh, I certainly can't be bothered with money matters. Besides, I have to get back to work. Daisy, you need the money. And you need a new act. Oh, I'm going to revolutionize the magic world. I'm just this far away from a magical breakthrough. Please, Daisy, let me give you something. No. Oh, come on, 25 bucks. No, 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 well, give, let me give you something. Oh. Neatness counts. <laughs> Too bad the workers don't think so. What workers? They all want to work for the Stupel Magic Company. I don't get it. Well, after your Uncle Dan passed away, this man named Stupel came around. He offered the workers more money. Well, how does Aunt Daisy manage? Hey, there's that sound again. 
Well, let's check it out. Imagination. Spies again. Oh, it must be that Stupal Magic Company. You know, kids, that Mr. Stupal, he's a nasty man. Well, shouldn't we call the police? Well, we should, but we need proof. And besides, the police think your Aunt Daisy is an eccentric cuckoo. Can you imagine such a thing? Hm. Oh, well, I can't be bothered with all those trivial things like spies when I must concentrate on my magic formula. Where did I put my pencil? The... Maybe it's up here. Uh, Aunt Daisy? Yes, dear. We know you have a bunch of overdue bills in here. Oh, yes. Well, aren't they a nuisance? Oh, say, your father told me you were a whiz with numbers. Maybe you could help me with some of those, huh? But you only have $22 in the bank. Oh, isn't this my lucky day? Lucky? Sure. I found my magic pencil. Lunch, kids. I'm starving. Hey, Mac. This box, it's filled with hundreds of orders for magic tricks. Here's some... What's that? Midville County property tax. $5,000 due? Final notice to Dabble Magic Factory. If not paid, eviction within 60 days. Oh, no. That's only a month from now. We'll return after these messages. Announcing Kellogg's Instant Win Ball Game. What are the prizes? 100,000 Wilson balls. All kinds of balls. Basketball. Soccer ball. How do we play? Deal off the game card in specially marked Kellogg's packages or write for a free game card. A winner in every 600 card. All right. Catch, Tony. Interference. Who made you referee? Look at my stripes. Look for these specially marked packages in Kellogg's Instant Win Ball Game. Saturday mornings, it's all new cartoons and all new adventures. Beginning with Pundar the Barbarian, an action-packed excitement that pits him against the forces of evil. And then meet Heathcliff, the cleverest cat in town with the biggest record for trouble. Followed by Dingbat and his crazy old pal. Sounds good to me. And the wonderfully elastic, incredibly fantastic Plastic Man and Baby Plans stretch into an all-new Saturday here on ABC. Saturday mornings. Now, back to our story. His orders are a good start, Zach, but we've got to keep at it. But Ginny, it's almost hopeless. I've been figuring even if we do fill all the back orders, we'll never get to five thousand dollars in time. We've got to do something else. Like what? Well, like turn the magic factory into a magic store on the weekend. Zach, it's a wonderful idea. You really think so? It's the best. We can make a fortune selling those crazy tricks. Hey, we'd have to advertise. Well, I sort of wrote up a newspaper ad last night, just in case you like my idea. For someone who says he can't do magic, he don't miss a trick. Hey, Jenny, what's that with you? One of your dad's cast-off tricks? Hey, who's the wise guy? Toby Thomas. Just ignore him. He's a real pain. Need some help? Let me give you a hand. Just trying to be friendly. And why don't you guys just give Hey, back? Toby, what's your problem? How do you like living in an old factory with teeny these dabble babble? Dabble babble. 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 Dabble babble
Well, you must be new. I'm Miss Harrington, the vice principal. And this is Zachary Dabble. He's going to be with us for a while. Dabble? Don't tell me you're related to the Dabble Magic Factory. Why, yes, I am. Do you know that factory is the oldest in Midville? It is? Yeah. Uh, Miss Harrington is the head of the historical society. You know, with a name like Dabble, you'd be a natural for the talent show contest. Well, thanks, but I don't have any talent. Of course, you do. Friends in the family. Do you prefer to be called Zachary or Zach? Zach, please. Well, Zach, they're going to be surprised to know that we have a Dabble with us. Well, if the kids are going to be surprised, then how come Toby knew who I was? <laughs> See how simple it is? Now you try it, huh? I'm telling you, Aunt Daisy, I'll never be able to do a magic act. I'll freeze up. Pooh, you and Jenny will make a terrific team. I know it. See? Zach, we've got the best coaches. Aunt Daisy and my dad. It just takes practice. And remember, you were named after the great Zachary Zambini. Keep practicing, huh? Look, the first, the first prize is $50. This will help pay off some of Aunt Daisy's bills. Well, in that case, okay. Oh, Mr. Stupel. I want to get a look at that guy. Daisy's to Daisy. I thought you might want to discuss my business proposition again. <laughs> No, no, no. I'll never sell you my factory. Oh, come, come, Daisy, with your financial problems. My financial problems will all be over as soon as I finish my new invention. All right. As a friend, I'll offer you 12000 A friend? You? Huh. Well, all those years you worked for me, you were stealing my magic tricks. And then when you went into business for yourself, what, you stole all of my workers, friend? Hmm. About my offer? I don't think you're getting my message. As far as I'm concerned, you're a lying, thieving, conniving, sniveling, swindling, disgusting crook. And those are your good points. Ah! You'll regret this, Daisy. Stupid could cause us a lot of trouble. Well, what can we do about it? I don't know. Maybe these chemicals we picked up for Aunt Daisy will help. She could just finish her special trick. Uh-oh. Bad news. Hey, we hear you signed up for the talent show. As a magician. Have you seen our magic act? Now you see it? Now you don't. Hey, I'll really make you disappear. Try me, over here. Knock it off, that's a valuable package. What are you creeps trying to do? Creep that, climb this way.
to the magic factory. Boy, look at all this junk. It hasn't been used in years. In fact, there used to be a door leading to the factory right over there. Aunt Daisy had it boarded up. Uh-oh. Looks like these boards have just been pried off. Someone's trying to get into the factory. Did you hear that? Get away with the crunch, cause the crunch always give you away. Ha! Are you like that, Captain Crunch? In a ball, usually. Ah! Captain Crunch cereal. It can be part of your nutritious breakfast, too. You can play artist with the picture and paint sets from Captain Crunch cereal. The paints are right on the box. Just dampen your brush and color. Brush is not included. Three different picture and paint sets in all. One on each specially marked box of Captain Crunch cereal. On the next Kids Are People 2, Kiss is here. And Michael Young brings on their newest member, The Fox, then. Every time I ran away, I, I seek shelter. Runaways get some special help and advice. Then, a witch makes an appearance to cast a good spell. And a country jamboree kicks off, with Cheryl Teagues bringing you Western fashions. And a kid star of the Grand Old Opry shows everyone some down-home fun. All on the next Kids Are People 2, with host Michael Young. Tomorrow... Hi there, time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You, not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish, you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh. Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops. All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. And now here's the host of the ABC Weekend Special, Michael Young. Who do you suppose is after Zack and Ginny in that old warehouse? And why would they be trying to break into Aunt Daisy's factory? Before next week, try and read Zack and the Magic Factory by Elaine L. Schulte. Now here are some scenes from part two of Zack and the Magic Factory. On the next weekend special... If you don't pay your taxes, there won't be a Dabble's Magic Factory. Seems like everyone's against Aunt Daisy. We'll put him out of the magic business for good. But Zach surprises them all when he wins first prize in the school show. Fifty dollars! And just when things are looking up... I'm not leaving until I get my hands on that formula. Zach walks in on trouble in the exciting conclusion of Zach and the Magic Factory, based on the book by Elaine L. Schulte. <laughs> Tomorrow, watch a fearless animal trainer challenge 17 man-eating cats and see chimpanzees who communicate with sign language on those amazing animals. Now stay tuned for American Bandstand next on ABC. begin, the party's over. Everybody, Fonz just crashed on his motorcycle. Damn. Have Lenny and Squeaky's dreams come true when Laverne and Shirley create some Tuesday night lunacy. It's time. It's time for you to live the loves you've always dreamed of. Do it in a York fur. 
York has lowered the price of every fur in their collection during York's January sale. York has cut 20, 30, up to 50% off the price of lynx, fox, raccoon, sable, York's famous mink, and more. It's time to live in a York fur. Come to York Furrier's January sale. Alan Alda, Will Gear, tonight at 1045. We're going hopping, hop, we're going hopping today when things are popping. Hop. Hello and welcome to Asteroids 101, where you'll be learning from experts on the subject. From me, Professor Van Bush, and the Atari Video Computer System, 12984 at Toys R Us. Now, should you pass this course? We'll go on to these Atari game cartridges, 1887 to 3697 at Toys R Us. Helmut, I hope you've been paying attention, because I'm going to give a pop quiz later. Could I have some of your seeds? Indeed, a Saturday, we welcome you to American Bandstand, and today's your last day to have a look at the couples in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. You'll see each of them for about two minutes apiece. Our special guest from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Frankie Smith, Double Dutch Bus. It all happens on American Watermelon. Wild strawberry, old banana, juicy orange, and now way out watermelon. It's Marathon Mascara from CoverGirl. Marathon looks just put on. Till you take it off. It stays fresh. Marathon looks just put on until you take it off. Marathon is waterproof. Won't smudge, smear, or flake. The special curved brush builds long, thick lashes. Marathon looks just put on until you take it off. Marathon Mascara from CoverGirl. This first song is a remake. It's a giant hit of a, oh, 14, 15, 16-year-old song. This fellow's had to grow up since the old days when the ad libs did it. The boy from New York City, Manhattan Transfer. <laughs>
such giant talents. Manhattan transfer. Speaking of talent, this lady has it going in so many fields. This only has been out a couple of days. This is the latest from Miss Crystal Gale. Miss Crystal Gale. Coming up, some pig Latin and a jump roping song is a big hit from Philadelphia, and the man who performs it is next. Rodeo champion Monty Henson. Get down to it. Top performance counts on the stuff you're made of. Same goes for my blue jeans. Mine are all cotton. Nothing but. Real comfortable. Wrangler no fault jeans. Special process means no pucker, no shrink. Heck, don't even need iron. 100% cotton. Yep, that's the stuff jeans are made of. When you're buying blue jeans, look for 100% cotton denim. Cotton performs. Search presents the encounter. You never know when you're going to wind up face to face with someone. With Search, you're always ready. I think I was here. Let's share the ride. Only Certs has a great taste, plus a glistening drop of Rexon and a fresh, clean flavor to get your breath fresh enough to go face to face. Where are you going? Wherever you are. Certs for breath that's face to face fresh. I won't put on my bikini till I take it off with Cocoa Butter Neat. I won't put on my jogging shorts till I take it off with Cocoa Butter Neat. Neat works better than razors. Look, razors only cut at the surface, but Neat works below skin surface. Five days later, you see stubble on the razor leg, but the Neat leg is still smooth, so you look better in your bikini. Before I go out with Philly, I take it off with Cocoa Butter Neat. Now new Cocoa Butter, too. Neat hair remover for smoother legs, longer. Pow, pow, powerful clear as silk. Get the pow, pow, power. 
listen, are you fighting pimples and oily skin? Super Strength Clearasil can do more for you. More than Oxy-5. More than Dry and Clear. More than Oxy-10. Because you get both benzoyl peroxide for pimples and bentonite for oily skin. You look better fast. When I was younger, which was a long time ago, and don't anybody say anything there, I used to speak Pig Latin. Can you speak Pig, pig Latin? No. Can you? No. Is there anybody here? Can you? Yeah. What is your name? Phyllis. Phyllis, say something in Pig Latin. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. What would you like me to say? Uh, our next guest is from Philadelphia. For the garden of the gex, for the gex, for the gex, for the gum, for the gill, for the gill, for the gex. That's not the Pig Latin I knew. Ho, 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 ho. Can you, can you carry along like a UN translator? Mm -hmm. At one time, wait a minute, in, in one time he was, at one time he was a teacher? Yeah. No, I'm Dumbo, you do it in big Latin, you're not supposed to answer me. <laughs> Cause say at one time he was a, he was a teacher. If I got with a gun to the guy, he the gave with the guys, if I got to the gate to the girl. This is a jump roping song. This is a jump roping song. <laughs> <laughs> you're hopeless, woman. He has a very interesting background, he's a very interesting man, and at one time in his life, he um, lost his job. And he thought it was all over, and that was only the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frankie Smith.
<laughs> dynamite, dynamite. We've been waiting for you. I tell you, we've been waiting. I think, I think he has the general idea. Control the animals out there. Now, wait a minute. You're from Philadelphia. How, what's the furthest west you've ever been? Oh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Most people know by now, because the story's been told on radio a hundred times, what inspired that song? For anybody who doesn't know, very quickly, the background. Well, uh, Double Dutch is a tribute to all the girls in the world, especially the girls on my block. You mean you stole this from those little children? I've been watching them for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does they do? They, is that the one with the double rope? Right. They use the mother's clotheslines, Dick, in order to play a jump rope game. But it's an art. And you heard this stuff coming through the window. Oh, and it's a tribute to them oh. because um, they're really good at it. Are you a native Philadelphian? Yes, sir. You spent some time at Philadelphia International Records before you moved to your label now, which is, we should mention them, give them equal time. Oh, WMOT. Thanks to them, I'm here now. But you lost your job with Gamble and Huff. Now, that's one of the most successful record companies in the world. What ran through your mind? Uh, at the time, it was the end of my life. I put everything in it, and I really... I what, what were you doing? I was a writer. They started me off as a writer, and they, they gave me a lot of experience and opportunity to learn what to do and how to put a record together, and then eventually they made me a producer. So Why I, did they fire you? Weren't you good? Well, actually, I don't even believe that oh, I, was, I was... waiting for a reaction. I, I don't believe <laughs> I was fired. I think it was like it was a layoff temporarily, and they said, you could come back, but... Uh, it's a business, and we had to, they had to cut back on staff and what have you, and I appreciated everything they had done for me, but my life just fell apart. But you got the pink slip one day. Oh, I got the pink slip. How do you pick up and go on? Did you think it would be this good? I just believe in Double Dutch. I believe in children. Are you, are you a kid fan? Oh, I love them. Why didn't you go into the teaching thing? You studied for it. Music was in my bones, and every time I try to say one and one is two, something said, no, play the piano. <laughs> you, have, you have picked the right spot. Now, this, this whole album, now that was a 12-inch single record that led to the album. What other things are in the album? Well, we're actually breaking down what Pig Latin is all about, and Children of Tomorrow is, I'm talking about children's children, and children having children that are growing up in a world like today. Uh, to leave something positive with them, you know, means more to me than all the success in the world. Give me a little... Uh, Ten second background on, on the next thing. The, uh, this is another part of the world. Uh-oh. No, I'm going to take everybody back to the Western days. All right. With silver gold and plenty of hay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Frankie Smith. Now young girls, old girls, old boys with jerry curls, Cadillac's do 
You can ride it twice if you ride a nice show. Ride all night. <laughs> I'm just talking about my horse, y'all. don't always do my hair, but I always use the shampoo my hairdresser prefers, Willa Balsam shampoo. I'm Brooke Shields and I love Willa Balsam because it actually helps keep your hair stronger, even helps repair split ends, and strong hair looks beautiful, shiny, full of body. So try Willa Balsam shampoo. It's oil free. And try Willa Balsam instant conditioner with its own unique strengthening formula. You'll love your hair. Drove you up to Lover's Lane, but your breath made him drive right back again. Brush your breath, brush your breath, brush your breath with dentine. You think you're really Mr. Groovy, but your breath can star in a horror movie. Brush your breath, brush your breath, brush your breath with dentine. Not even mouthwash can freshen your breath more effectively than when you're chewing dentine. Oh, your new bikini's really great. Your breath is the only thing they hate. Brush your breath, brush your breath, brush your breath with dentine. That's all you're taking to class? Everything I need in my new Trapper portfolio. Trapper? Traps in all my papers. The pocket's this way, so I close the Trapper, the papers stay trapped in. One Trapper freed subject. Where do you keep them? In the Trapper Keeper, which also has a notepad and pencil clip. After school, snap it shut, take everything home. What could be neater? A date with her. Trapper and Trapper Keeper, only from Mead. Hi. Open some sea breeze and feel your senses stir. Its cooling, exhilarating tingle tells you sea breeze is working. It's an antiseptic that goes deep to remove the oil and dirt soap just can't reach. Your skin will feel clean, fresh, alive. For a tingling clean, you'll both feel down to your pores. Sea breeze antiseptic. No other clean feels quite like this. Well, sir, it's been a good summer, but all of a sudden it's uh, coming to a conclusion, and today's the last day you can get a look at the folks in the American Bandstand Dance Contest. Pick yourself a winner, because they've got a lot of good stuff to win. All six girls will receive a new dress wardrobe from Funky. When you work all day, it's the nights that count. Funky dresses for night. Show them your best in a funky dress. For all six boys, a wardrobe from Angel's Flight, leading the way in fashion for the young man of today. For work or fun, Angel's Flight is the one. All 12 of our dancers will receive a Zenith FM AM portable cassette radio with automatic level control, built-in microphone, tape counter, reset button, and tone control from Zenith. Our fourth, fifth, and sixth place couples will each receive in television's sophisticated video games with a wide spectrum of color, sound, and motion. Each cartridge is designed to get players really involved in television furnished by Mattel Electronics. Our third place couple will each receive the AMF Roadmaster Chain Drive Moped with a Minarelli engine that develops a top speed of 30 miles per hour. It gets up to 110 miles per gallon with no shifting. Included are front and rear shock, lighted headlights, speedometer console. Finished in a brilliant black diamond color and chrome muffler from AMF. The second place couple will each receive a Kai stereo equipment, a Kai known the world over for great sound, beautifully styled, match components featuring a Kai stereo receiver, cassette deck, stereo graphic equalizer, direct drive turntable, matching speakers, and this handsome cabinet. Remember a Kai. You've never heard it so good. It's valued at over $2,000. Our winners will each receive car wax from Raindance. DuPont Raindance car wax actually outlasts the leading dealer applied poly wax. Keeps on beating and shining rain after rain, wash after wash. Our winners will both receive this 1981 front-wheel drive Mazda GLC Sport. It's fun to drive and comes standard with a five-speed transmission tachometer and radial tires. The more you look at the Mazda GLC Sport, the more you like it. They'll be waiting for you at Horizon Mazda, Lakewood, California. And there will be two cars there. There'll be one for the lady and one for the gentleman. And today's the day you get a two-minute look 
at each of the couples. Please remember the number of the couple. The name is not the significant thing. I'll give you all the instructions about writing on the back of an envelope. Don't send us a letter. It will not count. Vote only once. Be sure to include your own name, address, and your age. Uh, that stuff I'll, I'll, I'll follow up with. But I'd like you to meet all six couples one more time by name, but remember the number. First off is couple number one, Terry Chris and Michael Harp. Would you come over for a second? Have you gotten to know everybody who are your competitors now? Sure. Are you friendly? Of course. You wish them good luck? Yeah. You. <laughs> I do, really. I do. No. You know what it is? They all, they, they're not allowed to dance on the show. They have to hang around backstage, and you watch each other, and I notice you cheer and so forth. Are you uh, nervous at all? Of course. I am. I know. Why don't you go over there and get started? Get yourself in position, and I will give you a cue whenever I see you ready. All right, just zip out there. Watch the cord. Woody, why don't we run that little microphone or uh, speaker cord out of the way so somebody doesn't fall over it, all right? All right, now, the thing for you to remember is that number that they put up on the screen. For two minutes now, every couple, two minutes, they pick their own music, they pick their own clothes. This is couple number one. Last time. Reminder again, Terry Chris, Michael Harp, couple number one. Gentlemen, that's couple number one. Terry Chris and Michael Hart, couple number one. That was your last look. This is couple number two. I don't want to get anybody's name wrong. Julie Flynn and Dan Serber. How did you meet? We were dancing on the show, and he saw me and found out where I was going that night and went. You were with somebody else at the time. Uh -huh. Who's developed all of these uh, things that you do? Is it mutual? No. We both work on it. She comes up with the ideas, and I he just work them on them. How long have you been dancing together? About a year and a half, almost. Why don't you scoot over there, get yourselves in position. As soon as I see you're ready, we'll give you a cue. Remember, do not worry about the names. Please remember the number of the couple. Two minutes. This is couple number two.
is your last look at couple number two, Julie Flynn and Dan Serber. Couple number two. This is couple number three, Rosie Landeras and Kirk Rivera. I'll ask you the same question. Have you been dancing together a long time? Yeah, for about three years. The last time she answered this, she screwed up. <laughs> We've been dancing for three years. Yeah. Three years. Now, you, you rehearsed that answer. What are you, are you going to dance as a profession? <laughs> oh, it's a dream, maybe. <laughs> you would like to. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. I tell you what, get over there and you can warm up to it all. Again, I will remind you, pick yourself the number of the couple you like the best on the back of an envelope or a postcard. I'll give you the address where you vote at the end of the show. This is couple number three. Three, two, one, zero, ignition. Noxema. Noxema skin cream? Not soap? Soap made my skin feel all dried out. Noxema really cleans. So the oil and stuff's gone, but the soft's still there. So that's it? Noxema once a day? Hmm, usually twice. <laughs> Greaseless medicated Noxema skin cream. For good skin every day. Don't move or you won't look good for the class pictures. What are you doing? You smell good. I what, Joey? Will you let me finish? Yeah, you're fresh. It's so fresh. That's close-up. Close-up toothpaste? Why do you think they call it close-up? It's got real mouthwash to freshen my breath, and it gets my teeth as white as they can be. There, take a look. Nope. I'd rather look at you. Whiter teeth, fresh breath. Why do you think they call it close-up? These people have all picked their favorites in the American Dan Bandstand Dance Contest. I hope you have. You've got three more couples to see in the upcoming half hour, and we'll be back for that and more right after this. Monday, meet a self-made millionaire who's 11 years old when that's incredible return.
Theresa, you give an 87. That's really good. good. It was great. That was You'd spend money on it. Oh, definitely. All right. Fair enough. Uh, interesting scoring. Sort of a mixed bag here today. That one being the winner, which was, we should turn it around, take another look. Fog hat, live now, pay later. For each of you, we have gifts. And first of all, you'll both receive the following prizes. TDK audio cassettes for rich, clean sound. TDK video cassettes for bright colors and sharp images. TDK leads the way in home recording tape. Art Carve class rings. Choose from a wide selection of Art Carve gold or Saladium class rings available only at your jewelry store. A gift certificate from Burger King. Burger King for those juicy flame broiled burgers, crispy fries, ice cold shakes. Make it special, make it Burger King. And school tools and more school tools. Every tool you need for school and convenient spiral binding. School tools and more school tools. From Thumb Ease, American Bandstand will continue. Don't forget, you'll look at couples number four, five, and six in the dance contest coming up in this half hour, and we'll be right back. The amazing Vic Roller rides so smoothly, it almost rides by itself. Furthermore, uh, scratch that. The amazing Vic Roller, so smooth but never mushes down. So smooth, yet even rights through carbons. And don't forget the sales tax. Dear Mary, dear Jane, dear Peggy Sue, you are the only girl for me. Stop writing and let the big roller do the work. The amazing big roller. So smooth, it almost writes by itself. What's up at the amusement park? Babe up the fresh and freshen up. Babe up the fresh. Up up the fresh, up up the fresh. Talk about up. Talk about flavor waves for big, refreshing flavor through the gum. Thumbs up. Liquid center, too. It's really refreshing. Vave up the fresh and freshen up. Vave up the fresh. Up up the fresh, up up the fresh. Freshen up with flavor waves. Vave up the fresh. We drink Dr. Pepper, don't you know? It's the original taste that we love so. And the taste is making peppers everywhere we go. I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, we're a pepper. What's a pepper? Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? The more you drink, the more you'll see. I'm a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Be a pepper, drink Dr. Pepper. Be a pepper, drink. Shampoo and a Greek conditioner. Together, they help you escape the greasies. In the uh, preceding half hour of American Bandstand, you got to look at couple number one, two, and three. In this half hour, be four, five, and six, obviously. Please remember the number of the couple you like the best. This is your last day to see them. They all have two minutes, as I've mentioned before. They select their own music and uh, their own clothing, because uh, people sometimes say, why did you pick that music for them? How come you put them in those clothes? Uh, let's meet couple number four. Let me get my card out. It's Linda Allard and Andy O'Neill. Uh, how did you come to select this outfit? Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> they, they change all the time. You, know, you, you do different things, and, and the music, too. What, I've forgotten what your song is. Shanghai. Why did you pick that particular one? Well, we liked it because it had a kind of a, a disco style, which we know some people like, and a new wave style, which other people like. So we thought that kind of a combination of both. I'll ask you a favor. They're putting a folding chair out there. Is that yours? Mm -hmm. Will you take it with you when you finish, okay? Okay, scoot out there, and I'll remind you again. Remember the couple number, not the names. Back of, of an envelope or the back of a postcard. Do not send a letter because we cannot count it. Vote only once. Don't forget your no own name, address, and your age. I'll give you the address of the box number and all of that right at the end of this. This is couple number four. <laughs> 